Thank you, Maria. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if this is working or not. You can hear me, right? Good. Um, so welcome to Tampere on behalf of the city. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you all here uh, for this aviation forum um, and to get a little bit more of what we are doing here in, 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 in the city and in the region. So I started with the city six months ago. So my background is working in uh, professional services. Nick Gaetan, okay. Working with a professional services firm in the uh, um, last 38 years, last two years in London and before that in, in several other places. But this is where my home is and has been all the time in Tampere. So I was happy to come back here um, in the beginning of the summer. So now six months in. And uh, there's a lot of things happening here in the city. And that was one of the reasons why I also decided to come back here and, and see if I can be part of developing something which we call a, a totally new new Tampere, a new, um, <coughs> new type of way of thinking how the city should look like in the future. We uh, believe that the, uh, what we call now Smart Tampere program is, is one of the, uh, the themes that will be kind of an overarching theme for, for all of the future that we see in front of us. So we just uh, have been looking, at in, looking into the smart city concept and uh, taking the kind of broad perspective what it might be and what it might mean for us. And uh, we have been coming back to this, uh, this uh, the building a new kind of an ecosystem around the smart Tampere. And we've just, you know, being modest as we are, we just said that we want to be the smartest city in the world. So that is our aim and that is our goal. Um, and we've been pretty uh, successful in the early discussions with several parties. I'll come back to that later what that might mean, how that would look like, but definitely Tampere will look different uh, uh, in the future. And you seen yesterday some of those big plans we had for uh, improving the, the center of the city and, and building new areas. And, and that is part of the why Tampere will be an interesting place in the future. Also the decisions on building a tramway, building the uh, arena on top of the uh, railway station. All those things will be uh, significantly improving and uh, in adding to the attractiveness of Tampere. But that's not just it. There's a lot of other things that we feel and we think that are important. And let me just dwell into a little bit deeper there. So when we started to work on this topic, we, uh, we put kind of our tagline, our, our three words. And we said, we want, to be, we want to grow, we want to be smart, and we want to do it together. And our vision is to be, uh, internationally recognized a sustainable smart city, which is attractive both for business and for citizens. And our mission and our objectives are built around the ecosystem thinking. So we believe that the ecosystem thinking is the key to differentiate ourselves from all the other smart cities in the world. Um, and it's a tough competition out there. Uh, you see the smart city slogan coming uh, on top of a number of cities in the world. And a good example is one of those global companies I've been talking to to attract them to come here and be part of this was General Electric. And the GE guy said, well, you know, we're kind of bored with all the pilots. We've done hundreds of pilots in, in various smart cities. What's different with you? Why should we come and be part of your ecosystem? I had a couple of calls with the guys and they came here and, and visited us here in Tampere. And uh, after that visit, they said, yes, we are in. We want to be part of your your ecosystem. So what we're doing differently here is we're building an ecosystem where all the different players are part of our, <coughs> our, our end game. So um, we are looking at an ecosystem where we have all different types of companies, uh, different type of universities, schools, uh, research institutions, uh, different parts of government, but also investors, um, startup community, and also the civic organizations and, and the broader uh, population be part of our ecosystem. So we're looking at a uh, totally new way of thinking of an ecosystem. And we're also building a value creation and value sharing mechanisms for the ecosystem. We're building thinking of new kind of business models because everybody who wants to be part of this ecosystem also wants to also see it as something which will be uh, adding value and uh, increasing the business where they are in. And for the city, for us, it's all about our citizens 
we want to be provided with the best possible place to live for our citizens and for the businesses operating uh, in, this, uh, in this city and in this region. So we've been talking to a number of uh, different players and different uh, uh, entities. And uh, right now we have about a dozen, a little more than a dozen global companies that have not been previously existing here in Tampere who have promised to be part of our ecosystem. And, and we're very proud of those discussions because they are the world's largest technology companies and the world's big, uh, big names who see that this is important to, to be part of it. Yesterday I had a discussion with uh, one of the Fortune 500 top 40 companies and uh, they gave their commitment to be part of this, this ecosystem, uh, which again was a really good success. And that company doesn't come from the West, it comes from the East, Far East. So this is what we are doing, this is what we are building. And we decided to look into what would be those topics that we are kind of going deeper into. And we identified seven themes that we are going deeper into. And if you look at those themes, they are, first you might think, okay, smart city, how does that relate to a city? But it relates to because it's part of the big ecosystem. There's a lot of learning, there's a lot of uh, cross-pollination going through uh, all those different sub-ecosystems. So if you think of the smart industry, Tampere has a very strong <coughs> manufacturing history. We've been the, uh, the city of, 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 uh, of you know, industry for, for 200 years. And there's a lot of that heritage that is now turning into an IoT community, looking at the uh, IoT uh, industrial internet uh, new technologies theme. So we have been able to tap into a lot of uh, good resources in the R&D space for big manufacturing companies who decided to locate their R&D here. And that is definitely part of our ecosystem. The city role, we're just facilitating, we're just making sure that we're kind of enabling that so that it can happen. <laughs> Smart healthcare. Um, we're going through the biggest healthcare reform in this country right now at the same time as the digitalization is transforming healthcare and also not only healthcare but all well-being as well and everybody's using these sort of bracelets and the question is that how can you actually use that information in a much much better way in the future that alone has been estimated that the uh, the market the new market in Finland in the healthcare in the coming years is about 9 billion euros so it's no wonder there's a lot of companies who want to become part of that uh, sub-ecosystem. So we have all the big players here being part of those discussions, BG, Speed, Philips, Speed, Nokia, Siemens, all the other ones who are big names in the healthcare business, but also those startups who are building new kind of apps, new kind of uh, technologies, new kind of uh, things uh, for wearables, for, for other stuff. And uh, we have the... Uh, uniqueness of having a strong center for knowledge also in that space. Tampere has kind of an interesting uh, situation going on right now. We have three universities in Tampere. Those three universities are in the process of merging to become one. And that would be one university with 36,000 students and very high quality in technology. This is the old Nokia uh, city, so you, you can understand that relates a lot to the development in technology, but the university has been a big part of that. Very strong in, in medical, medical sciences, which helps the, uh, the healthcare theme, but also very strong on social sciences, behavioral sciences, which gives another interesting feature of this, uh, this uh, new whole. And if you add to the 36,000 university students, another 10,000 students in the, uh, uh, the kind of a secondary uh, uh, degree education, this is a very vibrant city for, for young people that uh, kind of plays into the talent pool that we think is, is very, very important for, for the people and for the companies coming here. Now going on into the other themes, uh, smart education actually came after talking to these uh, three university uh, people and they said, with this new university, we want to build the world's foremost digital university. And not only the digital university, but we also want to add that digitalization of education into all the other levels, starting from the, uh, uh, the primary education. 
So that is one of the themes we selected as, as one of those cores we have. Smart energy, water and waste is something which is typical smart city stuff. Now we do, as a city, happen to own our own electricity company, we own our own water utility company, uh, we have majority stake in our waste management company, so we have kind of assets to play in that base. But it gives us a lot of room to, to play and a lot of interesting uh, things happening there. Smart buildings is something where you heard yesterday about all the projects we have ongoing here in, in the city of Tampere. We believe that this will be a, a beautiful place to uh, test, pilot and build the smartest buildings in the world. We have a totally new area of the city being built as we speak. The uh, architectural competition is, is, is coming to its close. It's called Hieraranta, it's about four kilometers from here, uh, old uh, formal industrial area plus a planned landfill part of a lake uh, shoreline. Home for 25,000 citizens, uh, home for 10,000 jobs. And that will be a totally new digital part of the city. So we'll be building that as a digital part of the city with the, uh, all the modern news technology where the smartest buildings but also the other aspects of the smart city come to play. <laughs> Um, smart government and citizen, the, all the things that we do as a city, we have decided that everything we do, how we uh, refine and define our um, intentions to improve our services, go through the lens of digitalization, go through the lens of new uh, processes, and that is part of becoming a, a smart government. And also the smart citizen, how can you get the citizens' participation, how can you get the uh, crowdsourcing, the co-creation type of activities uh, as part of our, our, our DNA and our digital DNA. The last, uh, which uh, is probably the most interesting for this forum, is the smart mobility. Where we also believe that uh, we can provide the totally new uh, frame for defining how a kind of a mobility as a service type of thing can be developed. And there's a lot of elements of that going on right now to be planned. Uh, it's been kind of supported by the decision to build a tramway in the middle of the city, the 300 million investment, which will be uh, kind of putting the masses through the city. But then you have all the other mobility aspects within the city, but also the mobility aspects outside the city, where the uh, train and air and other traffic are a very important part of that uh, mobility as a service ideology. In all of these spaces, we have a lot of uh, startup companies uh, working on those. Because of this Nokia and Microsoft history, and because at the height, Nokia had something like 8,000 people working for it here in Tampere. Today, it's 800. But we have a lot of that skills. People have stayed here. They've uh, attracted a lot of other companies to start up businesses here. But they also have their own startups. There are more than 100 startups from that group of people in very interesting areas and bringing them to the same ecosystem, the big global players, is actually one of the missions that we have for the Smart Tampere program. In addition to those seven themes, we identified kind of three horizontal layers that actually cross all the vertical, all the uh, <coughs> uh, different uh, sub-ecosystems. Connectivity, the citywide connectivity is the foremost thing. If you want to be a smart city, you need to be a connected city. So using the Wi-Fi, the 4 or 5 Gs, but also using new technologies, using uh, kind of free networks like LoRa, like Sigfox, mesh networks, NB-IoT. We want to be building a uh, totally connected city. The analytics is the other layer. Now, with all the data that we are already getting today, plus the additional data we will be getting through the, uh, uh, I would say, hundreds and millions of sensors being in the city in the near future, that will mean that uh, we will need a lot of the analyst capability, as all of the other players will need as well. So that's one of the layers we identify as being very, very important. Third one is the user experience. How you get the technology interact with humans. What is the, uh, the best user, user experience? What is the best way of getting that uh, through? And there we have a number of uh, companies in the um, virtual reality, augmented reality space, or. Or, or other uh, understanding of the behavioral sciences vis-a-vis -vis technology that we think that can play a big role there. So this is uh, the kind of a overview 
of our smart city uh, plan. And uh, the question comes, okay, what is the city doing? What's the city role? Are we just the deep pockets? No, we are not. Unfortunately, the city doesn't have deep pockets in these days especially. But we have some pockets that we can put these things moving. We can put the seed money in game. But the number of other roles we see as a city role in this ecosystem play. So we're playing the role of strategy and advocate that we've been doing right now. We're also playing a lot of different roles in the, uh, just looking at the regulation, helping to ease up the regulation for, for uh, not only for what the city can do, but also because we have extremely good connections and had got, uh, already um, things moving up with the government to change some of the regulation that is needed. We can be the connector and protector for the infrastructure things, steward, a solution en enabler. We can also be funneling uh, investments through uh, government funding, through the EU funding, and through private funding. So we definitely are part of that. And then we are innovator investor. We said that city wants to be and build a kind of a fail fast culture. So we want to be a pilot city uh, doing all sort of quick things. We now identified about 50 different themes that we're opening up for, uh, for companies to come in and join us and start solving those problems with a fail fast type of culture. Let's do it fast, let's fail fast, and let's succeed fast. Uh, just a few uh, things we have been, we are working on right now as part of the big projects. You heard about the Central Deck and Arena. That is a big thing we believe it can be a showcase for a lot of the smart things we have been talking about. We have our Hieraranta, which is the, uh, the area I was talking about, the new part of the city being built uh, on the shorelines of, of Lake Nasiervi. And uh, that is something which is a, a very interesting example for international global companies to come and see what they can do as being part of developing a new digital uh, part of the city there. And the third one is the, the light, right, light rail, the tram, which, uh, which is definitely providing different type of mobility solutions for, uh, for us. We had this presentation uh, just a couple of weeks ago in Barcelona at the Smart City Expo. And uh, we signed up new uh, partners. We had already a few partners on the stage with us there. So we had SAP, Accenture, Cisco, here, Deloitte, uh, Microsoft uh, just missed the, uh, the stage, but they were there with us. So we have a lot of companies already who have been, who've been working on this. And uh, our guy, Tero Blomqvist, is the guy who's representing this whole theme. So if you want to get further details, want to be involved, want to be connected, please contact Tero, Tero on that. But uh, we have some time here to uh, answer a few questions on the topic or happy to hear some comments or even get some ideas because this is an evolving thing, uh, not ever ready, even though city has a, uh, accepted it as a five-year program, but it will not be ready in five years. There's a lot of things happening this year, next year, and the years to come after that. But uh, happy to, uh, to take any, any questions. Thank you. If you are kind of a, that's what they told uh, our politicians that, okay, now when you are in Tampere, you can call yourself a smart citizen. So that's uh, one of the prerequisites of, of being that. So welcome to, to that Tampere and be there. So we're looking at new ways of engaging the citizens. We have our traditional means of, of using uh, the kind of uh, meetings and, uh, and, and, and different type of you know, traditional digital uh, channels. But now we are really looking for new type of digital uh, platforms to engage our citizens. Mm -hmm. So trying to uh, build some co-creation platforms uh, or co-sourcing platforms where you can actually start putting uh, stuff and start developing stuff, maybe allocating some funds for that uh, activities, maybe uh, doing it in certain parts of the city and, and bringing that up. But we've been talking a lot about this and we want to get the, uh, the feedback from the citizens. And actually for those 50 ideas we have now identified, there are already some of them that have come from, from our citizens. 
So uh, we are working on different, uh, looking at different channels how to do that, and we understand there are limitations on, on the digital platforms, but we think that is the way that we should be going forward, so we are building those. We definitely see that because we've, we've been talking to uh, the global players and, and one of the questions is of course well, how can you get there? So I think it's very important that we do build the, uh, the, the connectivity <laughs> with all different means but we also need a lot of that uh, direct connections, flight connections from, from our own airport to uh, some major hubs and that is something which we don't yet have today so we are really looking forward to building those sort of connections and uh, I think that it's like a, a little bit like a chicken and egg phenomenon. We have to also showcase that we have that activity here that we can also get those connections uh, existing and now we are starting to have that so a number of the companies I just mentioned, mentioned who are becoming part of our ecosystem will be for example Silicon Valley based companies so we need to make sure that we build the connections through to Silicon Valley uh, in, a, in a meaningful way. But there's also connections that we need for, be it, be it UK, be it Germany, be it, be it other locations in Europe. And uh, that is one of the, the key goals that we have. Well, is this plan expanding outside of the Tampere? Because I live 40 kilometers out of the Tampere and I'm highly interested about this. We said that this is, this is kind of a Tampere region plan, so we would like to include the whole Tampere region into the, uh, into the thinking here. And not only Tampere region, uh, we are working closely together with the six big cities in, in, in Finland, and we said kind of welcoming and, and sharing our experiences. We are now building a new kind of a network with a number of Nordic cities, and now I add Netherlands to the Nordics as well, because we've been talking to the Dutch cities but they don't mind, they, they'd rather be uh, Nordic as well. So it's like uh, building a very close cooperation and for two reasons, just to share the experience, a lot of good things happening. I mean, we're talking to, uh, to Aarhus, to, to Göteborg, to, uh, to Trondheim, to uh, Utrecht, to uh, Rotterdam, mm -hmm. um, Eindhoven, a lot of good things happening and, and we want to share those experiences and learn from those cities. But we also are building a um, kind of a potential market for our ecosystem players, the scalability of the solutions when you have built those connections. So yes, we have the Tampere region, but we're also building the, uh, the Finnish cities cooperation with uh, Helsinki, uh, Espo, Vanta, Turku and Oulu, and then the, the Nordic, Dutch. But we are part, part of the, uh, the global, um, for example, the Open Giles Smart Cities Network and other networks. Actually, one of the, uh, the partners that we've been talking to um, well, I can say it, it was Cisco. Cisco was saying, we see you being so smart, you see you being at the, the top smart cities, top 10 smart cities in the world, and we want actually you to connect you to the rest of those cities. And uh, then the cities mentioned were cities like Singapore, like Chicago, like some of the other cities, which were very, very interesting. So we are happy to be there with our vision and, and talk to the smartest cities in the world as well. No questions. So once again, I, I thank you for the, uh, for the interest and I hope that you get at least a glimpse of what we're doing here in Tampere. We, <coughs> we're very proud of the, the development and we believe and we've got really, really positive feedback from different sources about the things that we have been promoting in the last, and this is only six months old program, well four months to be honest. And um, we are building and improving and uh, making sure that it gets better and better and we are inviting interested parties to come uh, alongside with us and, and join, join our ecosystem, join our network to make this uh, smartest city in the world happen. So thank you very much. <laughs>